TJ, Amazing Atheist. I'm not sure if anyone else pointed this out, but let me do it. You know, if they pointed out your hypocrisy or not. You made a recent set of three videos where you answered questions. And uh, in a span of about 15 minutes, you completely contradicted yourself. I wonder if that would be a new record for your blatant hypocrisy. Two particular videos that I'm going to go ahead and give a link to over on the right hand side of your screen. And, you know, most people don't actually click on links, so I'm going to go ahead and quote you in a couple of spots. But in your part two of the questions videos that you did, at about 30 seconds in, you were asked what you thought of the rape situation with Roman Polanski. And you did say that exceptions should be made for people who have exceptional talents. Further, you said that you'd hate to see him go to jail and deprive millions of people of his work simply because he hurt one person. Also over in the uh, right hand side of your screen, we're going to find a link to the part three of the video, where at about eight minutes and thirty some odd seconds in, you were asked about your opinion on gay rights. Here's the kicker. You said everyone should have all the same rights. How many rights should they have? They should have the most rights possible. I do agree with George Carlin when he said we should either have no rights or unlimited rights. And both George and I side with unlimited. Those quotes may not be verbatim. Go ahead and click. Let's see if what I'm saying ain't true. So you went from making exceptions for people who have exceptional talents to everybody having the same rights. So which way is it, TJ? Another link I'm going to post just so people can get brought up to date and you'll find Roman Polanski in the news. I'm just going to give you one instance here. Uh, Roman Polanski, back in 1997 was arrested for rape. He had drugged and raped a 13-year-old girl. This was back in 1997. Today he's uh, a lot older. He's in his 70s. Back then he was in his 40s. Somebody 40-something we'll say mid-40s, let's say he was 45, drugging and raping a 13-year-old girl. He was convicted of this. He pled guilty. And then while awaiting sentencing, I don't know how it is they let him out of jail, but he hopped on a plane and left the country. He has been a fugitive for over three decades. That's uh, just some background on uh, Polanski, in case anybody doesn't know. He was married to Sharon Tate. Uh, Sharon Tate was murdered in the notorious Manson killings. Oh, by the way, in, in 2003, Polanski got an Oscar. And Harrison Ford was the one who stood up and collected the Oscar. Wouldn't that almost be borderline? Harrison Ford harboring a fugitive? So in one breath you talk about equality, and then some 15 odd minutes earlier you had said that uh, he makes good films so we should make an exception for him. Well that's turning into what's called a popularity contest, TJ. So I've got to conclude that your idea of fairness is derived from popularity, or the herd mentality. The herd mentality dictates what is and isn't fair, right? So I guess that all your efforts of being a, an atheist are just fruitless because you are not in the largest percentage of the herd. 
wouldn't it be fair to turn it around like that and say, I'm not agreeing with that, I'm just throwing that out there to you. I do understand you said it was your opinion when you talked about Polanski. But why not just simply admit that your opinion is without a doubt hypocritical? I think if someone's opinion is to be credible, it should be based on things like truth and a fair observation of evidence. Now, now my opinion, and my opinion's the one that matters. Roman Polanski is a self-admitted and convicted rapist. He drugged a child. And then he fled, becoming a fugitive. I believe all of his works and all of his prophets since the time of that conviction should be stripped from him as they are ill-gotten. And I don't care if he is 76 years old, he should spend the rest of his natural life behind bars in prison. He never would have received those benefits had he been subject to the justice that he was due. It kind of makes me wonder whether or not you're in this game, if you will, to control the dissent. Like you always like to accuse everybody else of doing, controlling the dissent. Well, with your herd of lemmings, all they do is hang on your every word and follow you where the herd leader goes. And I really find that comical. Are you really a theist in disguise? <laughs> Offering poorly fabricated arguments to steer people towards theism. Since after all, so anybody with an observant mind would see that you are an atheist, and you mislead people, therefore you're taking them in the wrong direction, they would then go the other way. You know, if somebody had asked you, uh, who controls this country? And it was one of your answers on one of your videos. And I first thought, TJ, that wasn't even a good attempt at dodging that question. You and I both know who controls this country. But then after thinking about it, you might have meant, when you were asked who controls this country, and you said you do, you might have meant the people control the, the country. But either way, you're sadly mistaken. The question to you is, is when will you openly engage me on the topics that really matter? Do you really care that much about your lemmings that you would prefer their acceptance and popularity of you over real issues? When are you going to address the racist redneck that you like to gloat about that you set straight you own them? <laughs> oh, by the way, just on a side note, Roman Polanski is a Jew. Harrison Ford who harbored a fugitive, in my opinion, is a Jew. Just give you something to work with there, TJ. You know, many people like to start their presentations with quotes. But in this case, I'd rather sign off with one. Uh, the guy's name, I believe, was Ernest Tucker. He was in the movie Pure Country back in the 90s. He said the funny thing about that little white speck on the top of chicken shit. Oh, that little white speck. Yeah, it's still chicken shit. <laughs>